OK, so let's say I want to find the resultant vector of a and b in each of these cases uh, in component form. OK, so the first one, we've got the two vectors given in component form. So a plus b will be equal to 6 plus 8, so 14i minus 5j plus 5j is 0j. So it would just be 14i or 14i plus 0j if you wanted to. OK, so that's the first one. Number two, we've got A is minus 3, 2, so a column vector, and B is 10 minus 10, column vector. So A plus B is minus 3 plus 10, so 7i. And 2 plus minus 10 is minus 8, so minus 8j. OK, so that is the resultant vector for A and B in the case of number two. Right, now for number three... I've given uh, the two vectors in magnitude direction form, uh, where the, I've given the magnitude and the bearing. Okay, so let's have a look at A first. So we want a bearing of 110 degrees. So if I draw in a north line, then 110 degrees is going to be going off somewhere that way. So that is of length 8. So what I'll do is I'll draw in a horizontal line there. OK, so I can draw in a right angle triangle. So this angle here, if that would be 90 degrees, and so that would be 20. OK, so the adjacent side would be 8 cosine of 20, and the opposite side would be 8 sine of 20. OK, so that means that A... Um, is going to be equal to, well, I'll write it out in full, uh, 8 cosine 20 degrees I take away 8 sine 20 degrees J. OK, because we're going along the 8 cos 20 down the 8 sine 20. OK. Now, for the second vector for B, we know that the uh, magnitude is 20 and the bearing is 190. So if I draw in a north line, so 180, so 190, going off down this way. Um, so that's of length 20. So I'll draw in a right angle triangle. So that would be 10 degrees. OK. So then um, we would have this as the adjacent side. So that would be 20 cosine 10 degrees. And this length would be 20 sine 10 degrees. So the vector for B is equal to minus 20 sine 10 degrees I, OK, because we're going left, and then down uh, 20 cosine 10 degrees. OK, so we are, I'll put the minus sign on the outside. There we are. OK, so the... Uh, Resultant vector is adding these together. So I could write it in exact form, but I'll write it as to three significant figures. So, so th 8 cos 20, take away 20 sine 10, and that gets me 4.04i to three significant figures. And then we've got minus 8 sine 20, and then take away... 20 times cosine of 10. And so that's minus 22.4j to 3 sig fig. And so that would be the resultant vector in component form.